Welcome class to another trip where we go to Numberville City. Yes, Numberville City where all the numbers are pretty. Today we're going to talk about something where we get to build things together and sometimes break them apart. That is prime factorization. Yes, we're using factors, primes, composites, just everything and we're going to go ahead and have a good time doing it. We're going to jump right into prime factorization this time, we're going to look at the number six. Yes, let's look at the number six. It's sitting there. It's looking good. It's great. Six is a product. It means it is a produced number of two factors. What two factors have come together to produce six? Ah, two and three. Yes, two times three. If you multiply those together, gets you six. As well as if you take six divided by two, you get three. 6 divided by 3, you get 2. So that's our first little step of what prime factorization is. If you see that we have our big number up top, which is our product, and we have our two factors below. Let's look at the number 8. Can 8 be broken down? Yes, let's break it down. When we break it down, we have 4 times 2. Hmm. Is four able to be broken down? Yes, it can. So let's break it down. Four can break down to two and two. Well, right now we have two, two, and two. Those are all prime numbers. Prime numbers always want to be the star of the show, remember? So anytime we see a prime number, we're going to do what? We're going to circle it, baby. Yes, prime numbers are always screaming to do what? Circle me, baby. Circle me, baby, and we're circled two times two times two. We actually have three twos, which is also two to the third power. Now, if we take two times two times two, we get eight. Oh, two to the third power also equals eight, which means we have just broken down our prime factorization. Okay, I know that was kind of fast, so we're going to slow down. We're going to slow down. We're going to slow down just a little bit. Let's go with the number 10. Can 10 be, is 10 prime or composite? Ah, it's composite, therefore it wants to be broken down. What times what is 10? Two times five. Is two prime? Yes, circle me, baby. Is five prime? Yes, circle me, baby. And you have two times five are the factors or factorization of 10. Okay, that one was kind of easy. So let's go over to the number 12. Is 12 prime or composite? Ah, it's composite. So it wants to do what? Break it down. What times what is 12? Ah, let's go with three times four. Is three prime or composite? Ah, it's prime and primes are screaming what? Circle me, baby. Is four prime or composite? Ah, it's composite. So what must we do? Break it down. It breaks down to what number? Two times two. Is two prime? Yes, circle me, baby. Is two prime? Yes, circle me, baby. So the prime factorization is two times two times three. Or two to the second power times three. Oh, looky, looky there. Let's try one more just for practice, just for practice. And let's go with a hard one. Let's go with 24. What times what gives you 24? Ah, let's go 2 times 12. Is 2 prime? Yes, circle me, baby. Is 12 prime? No, break it down. We're going to go 2 times 6. Is 2 prime? Yes, circle me, baby. Is 6 prime? No, let's break it down. 2 times 3. Is 2 prime? Yes, circle me, baby. Is 3 prime? Yes, circle me, baby. Therefore, our factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 to the third power times 3 equals 24. Yes, 
that's prime factorization for us today. You did it in an amazing way. It's time for us to say goodbye, but don't you cry. We're leaving Numberville City now. Had an awesome, awesome time. Keep practicing that factorization and just rewind us if you want to practice one more 10 again. But until then, don't forget those prime numbers are screaming what? Circle me, baby.